<laughs> Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today again I have some pretty amazing toys for you to play with and my voice is right now in puberty. I don't know what's going on. Let's check this out. So we are again on Korea and this is quickly replacing Mid Journey for me. Actually, I canceled Mid Journey already and I'm not getting paid for this. Like I asked Korea and they said no, even though I brought them over 200,000 views. Get that? Not a dollar, not a penny doing the Lord's work here. So they added a new feature in open beta, which is the chat here. You click on that. There's a cute little Apple style looking animation here to welcome you to the chat and then you can got cracking here. So this is what it looks like. Just a normal text chat. And here you can enter anything. You can click on what can you do and it will give you a little description or you can click here on, for example, phone wallpaper just as a sample prompt. You see here it can give you uh, like a choice over the ratios in this kind, in this case, nine by 16. And then we have this landscape and that is nice, but you can do something much nicer. So let me show you that. Let's click here on a new chat. And what you can do here is a of course, like upload the image for the style. So we want to have here this image of a hairstyler pink mohawk. And what I want to have for this is create an image in nine by 16 of a humanoid lizard with this hairstyle. I'm not going to say which hairstyle the AI has to figure it out from the image. You get a little preview here, which is very useful, I have to say. And then it's generating three images for you. And there we have the three lizards with our pink mohawk. It's okay, but I want to have it to have cooler fashion style. So I say give it cool stylish fashion with sneakers, jeans and leather jacket. There we have the result. Pretty cool, I have to say, but I want to have this in 3D style and with a t-shirt. So we ask for make it a 3D style and also add a t-shirt. And that's already pretty cool, but I want to add more colors to have more flair. So I'm going to upload another image for the style. So I say keep it 3D, but make the character cuter and make it this color style from the image I suggested. So here you can see the image I'm suggesting with this nice colorful background. And that is kind of okay, but the background is a little bit too uniform. So let's say make the background more abstract color pattern. And there we have our new designs. Now, if you don't like that, you can click here on more to get three more suggestions. And there we have our characters. Look at that. Like for that little work, the results are actually pretty cool. We have our 3D figures. They have the pink mohawk. We have a colorful background, even though the colors are more intense than what I wanted to have. You can, of course, try around more or give other suggestions to say, bring the colors a little bit down, things like that. What you can also do is turn this into a video. So when we go back, you can see up here is a little icon for a camera. You click on that. This opens up a new window here and you can see the full prompt that has been used to generate that image. I added dancing here. So let's see what we get from that. And that didn't really work for me at all. So I want to show you an alternative way on how to do that. So you can go here to generate in video. This gives you the exact same interface, but with one big difference. On the left side here, you have the models. You can select any model you want. It will show you the render time runway is pretty fast. So let's select that. And here you actually have the option to choose between landscape and portrait. In this case, we want to use portrait. You can upload here start frame. I just add the word dancing in this case and then click on generate. And this will actually create this cute video for us. It's not super amazing, but the character didn't have a dance position. So actually for that, the result is pretty cool, especially for this rendering in just one minute. So overall, this seems like a pretty cool new feature. Keep in mind, this is open beta right now. So it has, I think, some shortcomings, especially that it will only recreate new images so you can't like say take this image but then put glasses on it or change the hairstyle it will always create a completely new image but korea is very quick at adding new functions to that and also listening to their community so that is pretty cool i can imagine that they will add these features soon maybe and i also want to show you something from pika ai a new function that is really mind-blowing so first, we're going to check out the source video. This is just downloaded from the Internet. 
And then also here we have a source image also downloaded from the internet. And now this is the result you can create with the new Pika function. And look at that, how amazing this is. This is the second try. I only run that two times and that is the result my mind is blown. Now, when you go to the website, they have a lot more examples here that you can try out. For example, this here, where a guy opens a box and this little alien comes out of it. So you always have like an image and then a, a picture you combine with it in a simple prompt. And they have a lot of other examples like that. And they really work like that. That is the crazy part about this. And you can really upload any kind of video, any kind of image and try them together in combination. And the amazing thing is the AI understands the shapes inside of that, how to position the character you upload to make all of this happen. And the way to make this work is actually very simple. So down here, you can see the selection Pika addition. And there you choose a source video. And of course, in the video, there has to be some space for the character you want to add. And then also you upload an image of that character. And below that you describe that with a simple prompt. In this case, a giant animal is sitting on the floor in the shower and is illuminated by a torch. So you want to also describe the action you want to have in that scene so that the eye knows how to implement that into the scene. Here we have another example with the monster riding a car. Again, we have the video that is filming the scene that also has the action in there and a simple image of a pink monster and then a very simple prompt. The monster is riding the car. And that is really everything that is to this it's super simple. Now you might say, well, this is an open source. It isn't free. That is true, but this is still AI innovation that is super important. And these are really mind blowing tools. So I'm so happy we are seeing great innovation, both in the open source area, but also in the area of companies and paid platforms and things like that, because both of them are super important for the future of AI. Thanks for watching. See you soon and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Bye.